kind of begin with, you're going to want to make your um, image at least 800 by 800. If you're doing high resolution photos, you might make it even larger, but I'll show you a little trick with that. So first I want to create a new project, 800 by 800. The resolution is 72 because I'm going to be using this for my blog and all of the resolution of my images are going to be 72. Um, 72 is fine. If I wanted, I could make it 300. I'm going to keep the background white because I'm going to remove the background at the last minute to make a um, transparent ping. So I'm going to call this watermark one. Okay. I haven't saved it anywhere. It's just here. Okay. I'm going to start by, well, mentioning a few things. There are in window, you want to make sure that your character and your layers are open. So I have characters up here. This will be for my type and layers here. I'm going to double click on the background to unlock it. Okay, because I'm going to feel free to turn that off and on. And in layer, I want a new layer. And we're going to call this the image layer. This is going to be the very bottom layer. And what we're going to do is, is kind of put a background splash image. This is where you would put your logo, if you have a logo. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start actually from a brush. Um, I'm going to choose a nice floral and I'm going to make it 750 because this is 800. So this is a pretty floral image here. It's a little dark. So going back to my move tool here, I'm going to double click and I'm going to change the opacity to lighter. Okay. I just want the smallest suggestion of an image. And then I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to put my name. So in a type layer, I'm going to make that a little fancier. I usually use this font for my name. And you can play with fonts or you could go here to your move tool, uh, edit, transform. I don't know if you can see that. We're going to scale this. I'm going to hold down on control. I'm sorry, I mean shift to make that larger. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a new layer. I'm going to put my website on it. I'm going to use a Futura. And then maybe make that smaller. And then the important part here is a new layer. And I'll show you why I'm actually doing that in a moment. Different layers. Here's my copyright. Now, Photoshop does not have. Uh, symbols in it. So what I've done is I've copied and pasted that from a Microsoft Word so I got the copyright symbol and I didn't have to write out all the copywriting. So what I am going to do is I'm going to tone down my name. I mean and that's up to you whether or not you want to do that. Tone down maybe the website a little and I'm not really going to tone down the image copyright. And then I'm going to remove this here and I'm going to save as um, I have a homemade brushes file in brushes. And save that here. So you can see this is what it's going to look like, and I have it saved. Now with the background on it, I'm actually going to render this to a brush. So I'm going to go to Edit, and I'm going to Define Brush, and I'm going to call it uh, 
amysavona.com watermark. Okay, so now I can also export this, okay? And I'm going to export this as a ping that is transparent, okay? And put them together. So I have that one watermark. So I've got a couple of ways that I could add it. I can open a photo, like a recent file. My baby here. Now, I'm going to duplicate that so I don't bother the original. So here's the copy. This image here, I could drag it over, but it's a whole bunch of layers. Go to quick access. I have my watermark ping. So I'm going to close that. So this is my watermark ping. This is flat. I could pull it over, but this is 72 dpi and this is really big. So I'll pull it over and you'll see, you won't see because no layers are selected. Duh. This is really tiny. See how tiny that is? And it created a layer there. So I'm going to undo that. Step backward. Okay, so first I'm going to do is I've made a copy. Image size. Chances are I have already taken care of this. I want to make it 1200. This is appropriate for my blog. Okay. And I can pull this over now. I can select it, pull it over. There we go. And here we have my watermark. But because it's a ping, the other thing that I can do is I can do a color overlay and I can overlay that with white. So I can change the color of it, or red or something. I actually think red's a little obnoxious. So um, you could do that, and I think that you could also um, make it bigger so we could see. Drop shadow, see how that looks. Drop shadowing makes it also um, stand out a little bit more. Um, not really seeing that background image, um, but there you go. That's one way to add it. I'm going to turn that layer off and go to a new layer and here's where the brush comes in so i'm going to go to the brush and that brush that i just had made is right here it's the last brush and see the 750 when you pick up a, a brush this brush is 2500 that brush is high resolution that is the highest resolution that that is good at so if i do 750 for this i probably should have done larger um I can make it larger. So let's see if we bring this 750 up to like a thousand. But it's not always, you could see it's a little fuzzy. It's not always the best quality. But with a brush, going to back to here to the 750, with the brush you could also change the color of the brush. Change the brush to white, and you'll be painting that in white. Okay, and again, because it's a layer, you can move it around. And okay, so when you move it around, you can see the roses in the background. So if you want that the roses to show up more, you can uh, go back in and make it less transparent, um, less or more, whatever. So. Here you go you got your watermark in there i prefer doing it by brush rather than opening it up and moving it over because i don't have to find it every time and um, so if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask